I'm, I'm just going to mention a couple of tweets uh, following on the conversation that that relate to the drama show and uh, the, the, those those sort of ideas. Um, w e n o t n o. We've, we've retweeted ones that it, some some of them go out from my my own account. Will seven eight nine gb. So a, a couple to mention. Uh, there's one with a link to openairperformance.com which is also known as Outside the Box which uh, there's there's ver- various things going on in July and August but there's a research project behind that into uh, open air performance as a pandemic response so I, I, I think there's various ideas going to come up from that but I've also put a link in to a show I heard overnight on the BBC World Service, uh, Digital Planet had a, a talk with um, Serpentine Art Gallery, and they're talking about a metaverse, which is a sort of uh, stage of the internet where it becomes virtual as well as real. Mm. Um, I, I just want, I, I just think metadata is what I'm familiar with. Um, they talk. They, John, you right. Your, your mic's up. They were talking about artificial intelligence, virtual reality, all sorts of things. But ra- radio is, is a fairly simple technology. It still still could fit in there. Seems to me. Oh. Uh, it's just a way of, of working with spaces. Yeah. Um, I just sort of. Th- on on the tweets, I'll just say one one more thing about the about the tweets. There's a link there to Th- Theatre Alibi and Emmanuel Hall in uh, St Thomas. But oh, for those of you who don't know, regarding Theatre Al- Alibi, um, my carer Marco Mazza is actually going to be working for them, working with them for three months as a, as an as a paid actor. Um, uh, in 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 uh, at the end of September. Oh, so that's why um, I was having I was having a meeting the other day for Will's knowledge. So well, it'll be interesting when when we're able to have guests here, or maybe we could take a microphone and find find Marco somewhere. Yeah, talk talk to him about that. Yeah, we can we could. I'm sure he'd be. I'm sure he'd be um, very willing. Because um, that that walk, uh, as I say, you can find you, you you can find it probably just by searching. But um, Theatre Alibi, I think, are based at Emmanuel Hall. Was that yeah? But was that the walk around St Thomas? Yeah, I went on that walk with. You Martin. went on that walk. Yes. Oh right. We found. You see, we haven't rehearsed this show at all. We, but we, tell me about that. Well, uh, if you if you want the honest truth. I think Marco just wanted to invite me along because he wanted somebody to go with. Oh, right, okay. Um, and he found it incredibly boring. He found it boring? Yes. Oh, okay. Um, and uh, he, he... So was he, was he acting? Was it, was it no, a performance? No, no, it wasn't a performance. He just got invited along to this walk around Thomas and he told us a bit of history, but, but it wasn't very good. I mean, oh. it, it, it was... Um, it was pre. It was pre lockdown, right? And uh, and um, you know, it was. It, it wasn't very exciting. Um, oh. And Marco and Marco and I found it extremely boring. Oh, um, but that has nothing against Theatre Alibi. I just think that they that they didn't that, that they didn't have time to arrange anything in the space that. Um, in the time slot they had, and um, and uh, and I I don't think they they um, that the the walk really went how they wanted it to go. But yeah, we me and Marco went on the walk. Actually, there's a picture. We've got a picture of us somewhere actually on that walk, and uh, and yeah, Theatre Alibi. Yes. So yes, my. My personal assistant, carer, support worker, whatever you want to call him, but his original, his their original title is personal assistant. Um, he's he's an actor who is at he, work no, he, every so often. He is he as is an actor. A, he is a professional actor, and and um, 
for for professional reasons and really unforeseen reasons that I can't um, uh, broadcast. Uh, um, he's doing his acting job for 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 Theatre Alibi in in uh, September. What what I find interesting though, John, yeah, is is just this idea of a walk. Well, because yeah, because there's, there's lots of there's lots was, of there's lots of art performance that yeah, seems to revolve no, around this sort of the, thing. The, 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 it was it was um it was just the idea of the walk. It would have been better if they did something if they included something else, but. Um, but I think it was all arranged very quickly, and uh, I don't think they anticipated that there that there would be so. Um, that I think it was arranged extremely quickly, and plus everybody was under 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 of all restrictions with COVID at the time and everybody had to be very careful and I think Marco was invited so he didn't want to say no so I think he just went along okay, okay. and he wanted but he wanted to, the whole point of it he wanted to take somebody along with him right. so he invited me on a, it was on a Sunday it was on a Sunday afternoon it wasn't really anything very exciting I well, mean no, I mean but. so Thomas isn't that isn't that big of a place and to and I wouldn't have really wanted to know uh, it wouldn't have really bothered me if I had to hear the history of St Thomas or not but yeah. that's for, w- for, pe- for people outside Exeter who don't, don't know us very well um, you, come, you come from Whipton really don't you Mm, I can, yeah, I, I, I come, come from, from Heaven Street. I've, I've grown. So we wouldn't, we wouldn't go. Hello, to, yes, I, we wouldn't, I, we wouldn't I, go to St Thomas very often. Well, no, although it, although I have had occasions where I need to go down there, um, but it's you know I'm not saying it's a horrible place. It wasn't a horrible walk. Everybody was very pleasant. It was a, it was quite a nice afternoon for it actually. I mean, I mean it wasn't. I mean I didn't. Well, I I wouldn't have said personally to him. Um, I found it incredibly boring. No, he, no, he, but he, all right. He, so, so John, he look, said look, that. John, that look, he just, just, to, just to get just to get you off that back to what I wanted to talk about, and and before before the audience will expect some more music, which will arrive eventually. Right. Um, the, there seems to be a pattern of what 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 is described as art performance, which consists of a walk. Yes. But the walk is in specific space. Oh. And because of the way it's described, yeah, and what strikes it, ta- it takes what on strike takes me. on symbolic yeah, meaning. Up. Yeah, what strike me about that theatre alibi walk? I'm not going to rubble on too much because we we'll want to talk about what he wants to talk about is that that particular theatre alibi walk, the theatre alibi walk that we went on, followed a specific route. Yes, it was just a loop that we did, and yep. uh, it was very odd. Um, but it wasn't terrible. No, uh, it wasn't. No, no, we're, uh, we're not overselling it, are we? Really? No, but but it's not something that um, that that we that, that uh, he or me would have chose to go on. If, if no, all right, we've got that point, John. But can, um, I, can, I, can I can I can I just say that? Yeah, sure. What? what so um, we've previously spoken about a CD walk. So that's my play. Yeah, but you've been talking about these. Yes, I know. I know. I repeat things, John. But look, I'm repeating it now, for as an additional example of a dramatic walk. Okay. So it may it may be an art gallery, you know. This outside the box, I I thought it might be a business school sort of innovation technique, or it might be moving outside the art gallery. But I'm not sure it's theatre. It might be theatre as well, or whatever it might be. Anyway, there's always new listeners, and um, I'd like to reinterpret my play about the CD walk in various ways as I learn more about uh, what's acceptable, what people are interested in, what might get funded. Because I've, I've, done, I've done two text scripts, let's say, which I've sent to Downstage Right. <laughs> and you're laughing, lad. Like, yeah, yeah, well, yeah. they, took, they took a long time to say no. The second time, right. they took, uh, In fact, I, I sent them a text saying um, an email saying um, you've forgotten about this, haven't you? And they said they did send back no, no. We're thinking about it. 
Oh, so that's a good well, sign, that, isn't it? That, 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 that was a good be, sign. That must be awfully good for you. But, but I, I've, I've, I've read your stuff before, and, and, and it does go on. Well, it I does mean, go on, yeah. Your punctuation—it's not that great in no. emails. And, no, uh, no. But they would rewrite it. Down, um, down stage right. It, they, they, you, they don't really sort of follow the stuff they just get sent exactly no, I, they, uh, they, they, they're capable of rewriting it no well. I agree but it's whether they would want to entertain your idea well as I told you you know they took the first the first one they you know, it was more or less by return not that you know not bothered really um, but no the second <laughs> one uh, anyway look just going back if you remember um, the, the concept of CD ladies and gentlemen if you're expecting music there may be some time now um, CD Walk is looking at places in Exeter where the retail of music no longer happens um, which establishes the fact that stuff can move online and then talking about education mm. and then talking about student accommodation will we still need all of that in the city centre so that's, that's the basic outline which we can do just as, just as conversation walking around in three or four minutes or we can stretch it out with dialogue to an hour, the one that definitely didn't work, or for two people over ten minutes, which is the one they thought about. But the, the, the basic idea is that you, you take a city space, you walk round it, and you say that HMV has a symbolic meaning as HMV, or something like that, or... Um, the, the the Apple Store, which you can't get close to photograph anyway, that that is a technical centre of knowledge, or you get some table space in the open air and call it a business school. Um, the the spaces have have meaning, so you can get you can get off into architecture and things like that as well. But my point is, the Emmanuel Hall, you started and finished the walk at the Emmanuel Hall. So yeah. did you did you think of the Emmanuel Hall? as a, a sort of knowledge centre did it have a, an authority when they, when they said things about the history of St Thomas from there did, it, did you think oh this is the Emmanuel Hall well I didn't actually because you have to remember that because of Covid regulations we didn't really go inside building uh, and building oh. very much um, but we were outside the Emmanuel Hall and uh, we did go in there briefly at the end, but I, I think it could have... I just think that it could have had a bit... I think it could have been like that if, if, they, had, if they had thought it through more about what they wanted to do. But, yeah, you know, if it's a, if it's a real conference or a real acting show, then I, I would say Yamanga Hall is a good spot for things. OK. Is that what you were trying to get? Well, yeah, but I, it, I, yeah, I mean that's that's. So you've got so you've got some impression of it as a building, but I'm yes. just I'm just interested in what what role the building had well, within the, within the experience of the walk. Well, not not not. If I'm being honest, not an awful lot. But I can see how the um, a mango building could be used as space if it was used correctly, and it's a good amount of space. And um, you could you you could do um, you could do lots of things with that hall, but it didn't really have anything specifically to do with the walk. No. Okay. We start if that if it makes you feel any better. We started from the Emmanuel Hall. Yeah. That's where Theatre Alibi is based. Yes. Um, but we started from there. But because of COVID things, we didn't actually go inside the hall and all meet up and gather up and introduce ourselves and have team biscuits or what have you um, so if I'm being completely fair the, uh, the Emmanuel Hall didn't really have a lot to do with the walk at that, on that particular day or that particular time um, so that's that's my that's that's what I'm gonna, that's what I'm going to say about that right okay okay but it, it's um it just strikes me that that's that's the sort of thing that would that would be interesting yeah I think I think Pre, I think now COVID is 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 uh, in some respects getting is we're getting more a lid on it. I think we I think the hall would be able to be used and people would be able to 
gather a certain amount of people and I think then it would have been to do with the walk as um, we I think if we could have all gone into the Emmanuel Hall um, in the beginning uh, and kind of got introduced to what the, what the walk was about and blah 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 then it would have then that would have been to do with the walk but I wouldn't have said the actual building had any, anything to do with the walk except from starting at that building right okay I, I, I think I'm, uh, I think we should move, move on a little bit but I'll just say that it, it is available online uh, with a map and uh, a podcast so and you, you can download it as an app on, onto a phone or you can listen to it all at home and then go on the walk and so I think this is um, it's, a big, it's a big advance on the other things that, that are happening so there's, there's GPS embroidery uh, following the bees around Princess Hay or mapping um, sea, sea voyages onto Exeter somehow so there's various map things going to come along over July and August but these, they're not... Um, oh, well, I don't know whether they'll be online or what, what, what else will happen around them. But the, the St Thomas Walk, anybody can do it at any time, in reality or online. And um, you can work out your own version, which will be even better, even better than the version that John went on, let's say. Well, it could be. It's an, open, it's, wrong, an, it it's an open question, isn't it? Don't get me wrong, it wasn't bad. It was just... It was just not, not. I don't think it was as they anticipate as as they anticipated it. That was all. No. Okay. Um, right now we are going to play some music because I'm sure the audience are fed up with hearing from us. Oh no, they're not. They, they just need variety. <laughs> 